and their offense has literally been off the charts as we send it over to the third member the okay. series in five for 26 in his last three playoff games if you go back to the disappointment of game seven against Denver last year off one Doncic against George now on the switch this is what happened in game one and Luca's got all five He's saying he can't guard me this is the first quarter Luca he's <laughs> warm up a little bit Here's Doncic again. Oh, down those shots over the top of a seven-footer, then you got to tip your hat to Luka. He's got all eight points in this game, but it's 11-0 Dallas after the three goes down by Hardaway, who's shooting almost 70% from behind the arc in the series. Finally, the Clippers on the board as Paul George scores at the 9-14 mark. And I like that from Paul George. If your jumper's not falling, and if you're not Luka Doncic, make them all. Denny Smith with the miss. Dallas with a 10-point lead. Here's Jackson, who got the start tonight, gets the basket against Doncic. He started 43 games during the regular season at 15 points in a game two loss. Porzingis gets the bucket in. That is sustainable. I think the entire world knows that. But you can't just hope that they cool down like that on Boban at the start of the game because he knew what he was going to be doing to Zubak. That's just, that's just disrespectful. There's Paul George. Mentioned this is the ninth career playoff game for Doncic. And the other games in the series with the Clippers last About what the Clippers need to do. They got to settle in. This is a, a storm that they're facing. Settle in. Make sure you move the ball. And make. Stop. Way short. Mavs ball with a 15 point lead. Midway through the first. Pull up three. Hardaway. It's there. George penetrating. They work it around to Jackson, corner three, and finally the Clippers. They have been the last two games, and you're seeing it here early in this first quarter. Doncic doing the dirk, won't go. The tip does, though. Finney Smith with four Clippers around him, bats it in. And that's just inexcusable, a lack of effort there by the Clippers. You got four people on you. You got to make sure that you secure that. Rebound. Clippers, they have only four baskets. They trail by 17 to the Mavs, who lead the series 2-0. Brunson off the window, good. And the lead. Paul George from about 18 feet off the heel. Offensive rebound, Leonard. And Kawhi with his first of work on defense. Maybe get him into foul trouble. Take some starts out of their offense. Leonard, Great sweet job, push. When you play like the Clippers have defensively here in the first quarter, even up 30 points in less than nine minutes. There's Rondo missed the layup, but Batum on that end of the floor because now you can kind of wear him down as the game goes on. Kawhi Leonard's got alone against Dallas in game two. Nine straight points here by the Clippers. Paul George makes it 11. Hardaway with the miss. And again, this is coming here, this run with Luka Doncic on the bench. Paul George's three. Good. And it's... Who's going to stop the bleeding? Josh Richardson will with the four run with Doncic on the sideline. Here's Leonard on the switch, pulls up and connects again. He's going to get more minutes tonight off the bench. Doncic crashes into Rondo and is called for the offense. Oh, he didn't like it. And then Pat Beverly gets in his grill, and here we go. And, and just like we talk about Luka just smiling about it, that's what you got to do. That's what Patrick Beverly is out there for. He's out there just before the game. He did a really good job down the stretch of controlling his emotions. Obviously, the stakes are higher in the playoffs. And a hard foul as Terrence Mann hits the deck. Holly Stein with the hat. Here's Rondo. Open underneath Zubats. What a great pass. switch. Zubats has to deal with Luka again. Doncic gave up his dribble. Richardson driving. And what a shot against basket gets the Clippers within one. L.A. trailing the series two games to none. The Clippers have lost five consecutive playoff games going back to the Orlando. Last Mavericks team and just, you know, believing that this was a more favorable matchup. But I stand by it. This Dallas team is better. As Doncic on the switch again has Zubats against him. He has owned Zubats so far in the series. There's that step back three. Of course. Jumper Zubat has to get in and make him a driver. 14 points for Doncic. Here's Leonard working against Finney Smith. Six. Doncic again off the glass and good. Luca clear. George in the paint. Pull up jumper is shot. Clippers on 
The drive, it's Paul the Jones. offense can really kind of slip a little bit. So, you know, these are opportunities for the Clippers to get going. They have the lead. Paul Jones for the first time tonight. Shoot, even if you look around the league, the Boston Celtics were down 20-4 to to the Brooklyn Nets, and now they have a lead. Hey, this year. And he's got championship experience in college. Won two titles at Villanova. George takes it to the rim this time. And Paul George starting to heat up. He's got 18 to lead all scores. Tying him with Doncic. Flame a wide open. Good feed. By but you can't give up a wide open three off a made layup. And that's what just happened there. Clippers come short on the three. Transition opportunity. Three on two for the Clippers. George, great pass to Leonard for the dunk. Formula for this Clippers team to get back in this series. Clippers trying to avoid an 0-3 hole. Paul mm. George again mm. with San Antonio in 2014 and Toronto in 2019. I know it's a different situation here as a Leonard drives and finishes. Great culture in Toronto when you had, you know, Nick Nurse and, and Kyle Lowry and all of those guys there. This is the first time that they're... And with a clear... Wide open underneath was Morris. The ball was deflected still. One drop. Curious to see if that'll kind of have an effect on his outside shot, just getting a little bit of a rhythm. Luka down the lane, so strong. So intense that the Dallas Mavericks fouled to get Luka back into the game, something I haven't seen many times in my years. Zoom on Doncic, shot clock down to five. Luka keeps him on his hip, drives. Doncic gets it to fall, 24. Time he's taking up so much space, just an easy floater. Jackson off the bounce, tries again, hits again. Reggie Jackson set the screen and gets Zubats on Luka on the switch. Doncic spinning, hitting. Luka's got 26. Just not fair. You know, we got a full-on battle here. One second left. Jackson can't get it at the buzzer. What a terrific first half, especially on the offensive end from the superstars. Doncic had 26, George had 22.